In this video, we're going to show you how to add measurements to track inches lost. First, click the plus button. Then click on measurements. Then click add new measurement. From here, you can choose whichever day if you want to go back and add past day's measurements. We're just going to submit it for today. And then from here, you're going to use the measurement tape and slide until you get to the proper number for your measurements. One thing to keep in mind is you do not have to track every item in here. And if you don't want to track something maybe like hips, you can simply click next and leave it at zero. And just in the future, you're going to leave it at zero as well. Otherwise, it may uh, recognize that you've gained inches in your hips area and it's not going to be accurate. So if you do want to skip an item, just realize that you want to skip it each time you track. And go through each of these. And once you're done, you will click OK. And now your inches are in here. And you can click on where you lost. Once you've added multiple measurements, this is going to start showing you where you've lost your inches. When you click on previous me uh, measurements, you can, if you wanted to, if you made a mistake, you can click this pencil icon here in the top right corner. And then click the minus sign to delete that measurement. Or if you want to see your measurements for that time period, you can click on the total and it's going to show you exactly what you logged for that time period. From here, you can hit click the back button if you want to. That is it for this video. As you again keep logging measurements, you will start to see total inches lost show up. You will start to see percent loss as well. And uh, these items, like where you lost, will show you exactly where you're losing inches. And then previous measurements will, as the name implies, show you your previous measurements. Thank you.